Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago. Welcome back to Cooking with Nona. I'm in my favorite place in the entire universe, Nona Romana's Brooklyn Basement Kitchen. Say hello everybody, Nona. Hello everybody, I'm Nona Romana. Uh, what are we gonna make today, Nona? Today I gotta make uh, zuppa di broccoli e ceci. Ooh, that sounds good. It's very good. Uh. I lo for me, I love too much vegetables. Oh yeah, I yeah. love vegetables I too. Love too. Yeah. And especially la zuppa quando fa freddo, ah. when it's cold outside. Si gusta, si gusta. A secca. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> si ha bisogno di una cosa calda. Ma a secca means, a secca means uh, it, it just dire, goes. Va, va bene, è so. Ma a secca è una parola dialettale. È dialettale, yeah? sì. È, 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 vuol dire che è una cosa che ci vuole. Yeah. Va bene, in poche parole. A secca means something that you need. But it's not Italian, it's, it's uh, our regional language of, uh, of Molese. So, Molese. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? So, we mm -hmm. have some fresh broccoli. Yeah. I yes, love so. a broccoli. Me too. I love it. And we got to clean, you know? Uh, yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, how you clean the broccoli? Show the people how you clean. Uh, it's very easy. You know, I cut. You got to cut the ugly part, because over here is ugly, over, yeah. right? Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you got to make like that, so. I'm going to cut the ugly part too. There we go. With the Nona knife, the Nona knife is perfect for vegetables. And then you can start breaking it off. But we got to cut small the broccoli, Nona. Yeah, I know. Because for zuppa, we don't want uh, two big pieces. I know, you're right. Otherwise, you can't put in the mouth. Mm -hmm. I know I have a big mouth though. But this part we got to put. It's a good. Well, what are you going to do uh, with this? You know, do, do like that because this is not too hard, this part, you know. Uh. You do like that. The leave we save. The leave, leave. Uh, okay. The leave, leave. Uh, cut like that, you see? Because this is not too hard. So as long as it's tender. Nona says it could go. It could go on our okay. soup. Like that. Okay. So. Very good. And just break the, the little florets. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about this? Nah? You don't need? You don't need that. Forget it. Forget it. She said forget it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so okay. I'm just going to wash our broccoli, just Zuppa. fill it up, you rinse wash these off, off, and then I'm going to go get started on our soup, okay? Okay. When I come back, you're going to grate the cheese for me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. For soup? Yeah. We can't have soup with no cheese. I know. Uh, you guys. We need it. I have uh, cheese over there. Okay. I got a grab for you. Okay. So I'm going to wash these and then I'm going to get started on our mm -hmm. broccoli and chickpea mm -hmm. soup. You see, you have the same thing, a medaglia for me. Oh, we have the same necklace the on today, the same Madonna, the Madonna necklace. Madonna, they got protect you and me. Okay. okay. God bless. God bless. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go make some okay. soup. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to kick the soup off with a little extra virgin olive oil, of course. And we're gonna get this nice and hot. Okay, so I have my oil in the pan and let me just go through some of the other ingredients. So I have some garlic and rosemary. I'm gonna do something really cool with the rosemary. I'm gonna kind of fry it in the oil before we add in the carrots, onions, and celery. And what this is just going to do is add another layer of flavor to this whole thing. It's going to be nice and smoky and woodsy. And then uh, we have the broccoli, of course, that we cut up. And I have our chickpeas that I drained and rinsed. And I'm going to actually mash a few of these up so there's some nice, beautiful, thick texture in the soup. So right now I'm just going to take our rosemary sprigs and I'm going to throw them in there. 
and those are going to start kind of frying up right away. And I'm going to give that just a minute before I put the garlic in, just to kind of flavor the oil. And then, of course, we're going to remove, like, the sprigs before we, you know, I'm not going to leave it in there. Don't worry. Add the garlic. And our carrots, onions, and celery. This smells amazing already. And you just want to get let that get nice and soft. And I'm just going to put like a pinch of salt in here. Okay, so now the carrots, onions, and celery are soft. I'm going to add my water. Okay, so my water is in here, and this is going to start coming to a boil. And now I'm going to put my broth cubes in. You can also use broth, vegetable broth, chicken broth, beef broth. Any kind of broth that you like, if you made it yourself, that's great. If you're not, you can't be here all the time, it's all right. Use some broth cubes, it's okay. I don't judge. So once this comes to a boil, we can add our broccoli, we're going to add the chickpeas, and we're going to cook the pasta, and then we're going to mix it all together. I never really cook pasta inside a soup because I don't want all that starch in there. I want a little bit of starch, but not all of it. And I don't want it to overcook because the worst thing to me is a soup with pasta in it that's mushy, that's mushat. Nobody likes that. Okay, this has to boil. Okay, so we are boiling here and I'm gonna get our broccoli and we're gonna start to add the broccoli. To the pot. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to add our chickpeas, but I'm not going to add all of them whole. I'm going to put most of them in whole. And a little less than half, I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to start crushing them. And this is going to give a nice texture to the soup, a nice thicker texture. You can also do this in a blender, blend them up real quick in a food processor or a bullet or whatever you have, but we're old school. The wooden spoon has never failed me. Okay. So I'm going to add this to the pot as well. a nice stir. I could take the rosemary sprigs out if I see any. We don't need those anymore. And we're going to let this all cook until the broccoli is nice and tender, about 10 more minutes. And then we're going to cook our pasta and we're going to add it to the soup. Okay, so now I'm going to drop my pasta into the salted boiling water. I'm using a really cool pasta, and uh, this is called Sagnarelli. And I think it means, like, that they're a little saw because they're these little, these little rectangular sheets. Um, you can use these. You can use maltagliati. You can use pasta mista. That's the broken up, all mixed up pasta. Um, you can even use broken spaghetti. You can really use whatever you like. I just thought these looked really cool, and I wanted to try them.
So I'm going to cook these for about half the time of the package instructions because I'm going to add them to the soup and they're going to keep cooking in the soup. Okay, now we're ready to add our pasta to the soup. And our soup is done, so I turned the heat off, but it's still quite hot. So, like I said, this pasta is going to continue cooking in the soup. Okay. Oh my God, this looks so good. It smells fantastic. I cannot wait to taste this. I know Nona's dying to taste this right now. I know for a fact. So she's grating cheese right now over there. We're going to go over to her. We're going to serve this up like it should be served with a generous sprinkle of grated cheese. Oh my goodness, I'm in heaven. This looks fantastic. Look at how good this looks. Okay. Nonna, you ready to have some soup? Yeah, sure. You got enough cheese? Sure. I have enough cheese. You want a lot or a little? A little, not too much. Okay. Probably. Here's a not too much mm. portion for you. But you want to taste this, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Some for you. I got a few left. Some cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my goodness, how good does this look? Oh, I want cheese too. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. So you don't let me put cheese on broccoli or rigatoni, but you let me put cheese on this. It's okay? It's born, huh? Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good. You like it? Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. Yes, huh? mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, and this pasta. Mm. So good. My plan worked. Half the cooking time. And it's not mouchard pasta. Can't stand mouchard pasta. No, no, la pasta è bella dente ancora. Yeah. È buona, right? Buonissima. Mm. I'm obsessed. Mm. All right, guys, we got some more soup to eat. Nonna, you mm -hmm. want to say bye bye, everybody? Sure. I want to say bye bye. Okay, sure. say bye bye. Okay, bye bye, everybody. And over there, too, you got to say bye bye, yeah. everybody. Bye, everybody. I love everybody. Bye. Make a soup. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to make this soup very good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye.